Hello and welcome to a new video and today it's part 3 of the Leicester City career mode here on FIFA 23. In this episode uh, we go against Brentford and also we go against, let me check very quickly, we go against Bournemouth in these, this episode. Of course last time out we had we played our first two Premier League games of the season we we drew both of them a 0-0 draw on the opening day against Wolves and then well and then a entertaining and chaotic 3-3 draw against Arsenal but today hopefully we can get our first win of the season against one of either Brentford or Bournemouth hopefully we could if we can beat Brentford away uh, some transfer offers here. I'm going to accept Christensen's loan offer because I think he could be a crucial part of the squad in the future. Ian Acho, I'm not selling him. Still think he's got a job to do. Yeah. Um, um, Cutscene. Somebody's gone. Oh, yeah. MRT. Had to sell him. His contract was running out in the summer, in the next summer. So really, selling Sasasuna, good board thing, it was wonderful. So currently we sit 13th. No goal difference, two points. So a point per game usually means you stay up. Of course, the board want us to finish in the Europa League places, which I think is possible. I, well, it might be possible. Well, if we play like we did against Arsenal, I think Europe is possible for the lads because really we did we did we we should have won that game against Arsenal. We went one 0 up, unlucky to go two one down, but then we brought it back. A brilliant pass and Daka goal. But then asked then Martinelli scored. Um, not long to go. Wait, no. Yeah, I don't really remember. But anyway, we now go against Brentford in the GTEC Community Stadium. Should be a fun game. This, of course, Brentford sitting. Well, I think Brentford might be ahead of us. Um, we're gonna make some substitutions for this game. Pereira hasn't started the Premier League game yet, or Justin, and I'm gonna give. Do I give Godwin his first start of the season? I don't think so. I think that's the team we're going to go with. We're going to stick pretty well in the Premier League, of course. You know, are they seven for six? So they're, they're pushing for Europe at the moment in real life, but in FIFA, their team ain't that strong. Yeah, so hopefully we can get a result, get our first win of the season. If we don't win here, then we have got. Bournemouth next, who are who aren't really that great. So hopefully we can get our first win of the season in this episode. If not, I hope for a point. If we get a point away from home, that'd be nice. Of course, slightly different team. Of course, for Pereira and uh, Pereira and Justin, it's the first Premier League start of the season for them. Just trying to increase their fitness that wasn't a great pass and all Witter she got to watch out for Ivan Tony. that's that's one man we've got to really watch out for Ivan, Ivan Tony. in real life having a brilliant Premier League season here is Ivan Tony, and he's played in now and we're 1-0 down Baptiste has put Brentford 1-0 up and we have been stunned at the start well, seven minutes gone, and we're one nil down, and the Brentford fans are going absolutely wild. But this is not what I was expecting. So really, Ivan Tony, he does well, and then nothing the Bravka could do. Justin maybe showing a bit of his match sharpness, lack of that. Should have done better there. 
but Sandon Baptiste has his first goal of the season and we're losing 1-0 now we need to really fight back here because if we lose to Brentford then no wins in the opening three games yes yeah, two draws but if the board want Europe we need a good start to the season good there from Tese is Ricardo Pereira Vardy and Ricardo Pereira and it's saved by the goalkeeper ok first shot on on target there as they show that goal again corner so we're going to go short because I think the short corner quite well Tielemans was there Tete hasn't really played all right against Wolves because I didn't they didn't start him against um, Vice there James Justin as well here's Madison hasn't really had the impact I'd like to but he has played in Barnes here and Madison shot is blocked here's Jewsby Hall gives it back to Madison and it's an easy save in the end for Raya haven't it's been a slow start because we went 1-0 down early that, that's never a good a good thing at all here's Madison now he can drive us forward Justin finds Tielemans who's he played well against Arsenal Madison Ben Mead have with the tackle and now maybe a counter attack here for Brentford could happen here Alvarado Baptiste and the referee's given a free kick for what? it's Ben Mee that was, that was nice and good save to Bravka did well there Brentford in the end I feel it could have been 2-0 up but the Bravka strong hand from our number one Tete headers it only as far as Baptiste who does well there to, to avoid the tackle and it's 2-0 it's 2-0 Brentford well oh no Wiss has scored the Bravka makes a save I don't think I've oh it's well we've had an absolute shocker of a start here 2-0 down in 34 minutes this is not good Bravka did the best he could maybe he could have cleared it did better with the save here's Madison Tete he has got pace he has got pace and he runs off the pitch there Tete I feel like he need, yeah, I, feel, I feel like improvements are needed and that is a free kick to us handball it's Dewsbury Hall Harvey Barnes Bardi tries a 1-2 Ruslev and they pass it and it's a corner you know what we're going to go not short for once and they've cleared it well we're going to get an overrun massively and it's offside 2-0 down at the break struggling is the word I've put it I haven't really created any chances so I'm actually going to bring off Jamie Vardy again just hasn't done much so we're going to bring on Ian Atjo here for, for the second half
How the... Well, he's played butchered that. He's called him Kalechi Ayanacho. It's Tony. Got strength, but not... Not quite without Feiss. Here's Alvarado. Baptiste. It's brilliant. It's brilliant from Martin Dubravka. Justin. That's nice from us. Madison. Finds Tete. He's got the pace. It's saved. And David right here. Keeps Tete out. It was good counter attack. This transfer story has been covered extensively, and now the deal has been done. Here's Harvey Barnes. Suited as well. Tielemans. Finds Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes racing on goal. Harvey Barnes goal back. His first goal of the season gives us a goal back here. Yeah, it's a crucial goal. Again, counter attack. Tiedemann's his pass. Good finish from Harvey Barnes. Gives us hope. David Raya, who's had a good game. Nothing he could do about that. Harvey Barnes gives us a goal back. Is Ivan Tony. He's just mugged off three of my players. That's just unfair. This is unfair. Jesus Christ, Dubravka makes the save. Ivan Tony, proven to be a bit of a difficult player to go up against. Harvey Barnes clears it. Tete. Kalechi and Nacho. Off. Okay now. Who is that Abu Blur? Oh, now we're in trouble. Visser against Pereira. Absolutely done, Pereira. Good from Suter. Yeah, Matt Sharpless is affecting the two wing backs. Sadly. Here's Tielemans. Ian Acho. Here's Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes! Oh, what a goal! 2 <laughs> 2. Harvey Barnes, that is fantastic. Brilliant. Just as I'm about to sub him off, even though he's on his hat trick. That is a terrific goal. The uh, Raya was nowhere near it. Fantastic from Harvey Barnes. And he has the equaliser. And from 2 0 down, we've made it 2 2. But now he's coming off, he won't be happy about that because he's on a hat trick. But got to give him a rest. Now here's Tony. He likes to cause mayhem. Look at back, has done well there. It's Jewsbury Hall. Trying to get his way on this there. Here's Ian Nacho. Madison! Right, saves it. Why is Faust that higher? Justin. He had a shaky start, but he's got into this game. Tete. Finds Tielemans. Good tackle. Tielemans. Saved by Ryan. Good from Suter. Good from Tete, it's a deep ball in. And Raya collects it. Oh shit. Good save to Bravka. Big save from Martin Dubravka. Poor old Harry Suter. 
almost ruined it for us, but Tete's coming off, Golovin's coming on. Who can he pick out? Oh, f fucking hell. Pinnock scored, and it's 3 to Brentford. All our hard work for nothing. We've come back from 2 0 down, and Ethan Pinnock's had a basically a free header in. Just uses them. It's, oh, it's, it's a free header. What are you doing? Like, Pereira on the line should be doing better, I think. I mean, it's a free. It's poor defending. And then Pereira misses the ball. The Bravka has no chance. And Ethan Pinnock has his first goal of the season. And we're losing again. Which is a shame. We did well to get back into this game. It's Golovin. You know what? I'm going to go straight from kickoff here. However, there's nobody in here. Golovin. Oh, ref. Penalty. Ivan Tony's been a menace. It's the way he's controlled the ball and everything. James Madison. Ref, that is a clear obstruction. And we've lost. We've lost to Brentford. That fat man there, it's your fault. We, we did well. Well, I mean, we didn't. We went 2-0 down. But we did well to, to make it 2-2. We were at possession and shots. I think we played quite well. Liverpool there, beating Fulham. Uh, I think that was Chelsea beating Newcastle 1-0 then. Oh dear. Tough. Well, Bournemouth have had a bloody flyer of their sixth. We're currently 15. We're, we're ahead of Man City. I'd take that as a win. I, we need to change the kits. No way am I letting Bournemouth play in a bloody. What on earth? In whatever kit that is. No, they're going in their home kit. You know what, Vardy's going to play that. He's gone down two ratings already. Lord above. Right, this game. We have, but not any like, dangerous chances. We haven't even had a penalty yet this season. Hello, but hopefully we can just beat Bournemouth and get our first win of the season. If we lose to Bournemouth, then, well, I'm in trouble. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. City. Right, Traore. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set. Two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. Here's Castagne really back in the side. Didn't play against uh, Brentford. Already regretting that decision. And that. Bloody hell. Kiefer Moore, no chance. It's Tete. Tielemans. Good. It's Tete. Dewsbury Hall. Oh, for what? Free kick? For what? Go off his hand? Oh, I mean, probably went off his hand. Oh, that's a good header. Madison. Or finds Vardy. Vardy! It's 1 0. Jamie Vardy has his first goal of the season. And we're 1 0 up against Bournemouth. He does the Eagle celebration. Poor free kick from Bournemouth. Madison plays into Vardy. Vardy hits it first time in off the post. Thank you very much. And we're 1 0 up. Good, we needed that. Quick start to the game. Really. And a foul in the what? The now, what, can they what? Do from the eh? Team? Where's the foul come from? That was just awful. Oh my god. I thought that deflection, Kiefer Moore. <laughs> I thought the deflection was about a 
sort of redirect this into the net. Good save to Bravka. We need to watch out for Kiefer Moore, especially in corners and crosses, because he is a dangerous man. Of course, Wales are playing soon. Uh, hopefully he scores against Croatia, because he is playing. Good tackle. Dewsbury Hall finds Tete, who needs a good game. He's got the pace. Another, he needs to improve the. He needs, I, I need to improve his crossing. That felt like a handball. Junior Stanislas against Thomas. Thomas has done well. He's done really well. Good. Need that. Stanislas. It's Thomas again. Thomas has been sat down completely. And we've got lucky. No pressure whatsoever on the keeper. He is Traore. Vina. Bloody old Billing got in behind there. That could have been 1-1, but Martin Dubravka yet again. Saving us there. Luckily for us. I don't know why Bournemouth are taking the corner short. That's something I'm not really understanding. It doesn't really make sense that a team with tall players like them are doing it short. It's not really working for them. She had less possession and we've given the ball away there. Bournemouth. We're giving Bournemouth a lot of the ball, and I don't like that. Good. Nice defending. Vardy. It's Madison. Finds Harvey Barnes. It's Tielemans. Finds Tete. It's Castagne. Tielemans. So we need to gain more control in this game because currently it's not happening. Here's Yuri Tielemans. Oh, it's just wide. So he did that against Arsenal. Just dr drove through them. Really, that should have been 2-0. That would have been a nice time to get a second goal there just before half time. Really, Bournemouth had a strong like 10 minutes. It's not really happening for them at the moment because we are winning the ball back. And it's half time. 1 0 at the break. We've played alright. I mean, there was a spell where Bournemouth actually were doing alright, but. We just start to take back control uh, at the end of that first half, and now we're getting go. We got go we get going for the second half. Just need that second goal, the insurance goal, that gives us a bit of space to breathe. And then hopefully after that, the goals start coming flooding in a bit more. It's not what I really want from him. Done well here, Stanislas. Oh, what a save to Bravka. It's a big save. And I'm actually going to bring off Tete. Because he hasn't done much. So he's coming off for look back here. I'm going to bring off Suter for Soyuncu. Because, well, them two need games time. And look back here will get 40 minutes to show his worth. I haven't scored yet. None of my new signings have scored yet. It's Kiefer Moore. It's bloody out strength. Mark Feiss ended up. I was not not happy where that was going. It's Madison. 
Vardy run. Vardy's not really making a run. You know, Madsen's got to go all on his own here. There's, there's, oh! Harvey Barnes was at the back post, almost header in us 2 0. I mean, Madsen did brilliantly. It's good connection, just couldn't direct it. Really, we need a second goal because Bournemouth have got a threat about them. And now they've got a call, uh, free kick here where they will put it into the box. Feist as well. Tielemans. That was nice. I don't know how that worked, but it did work. And here's Tielemans. That was offside. <laughs> I don't know how that pass from Tielemans worked. I thought it was going out, but Vardy, man, is Lerma. That's a foul. Fredericks got it past him. I was <laughs> expecting that to be a yellow card. Yeah. Not a great one. Yeah. It's one of those. He's already gone by the time he bloody. Pass it to him. Okay, we're, we're defending well from set pieces. It's Cook. So she's done well. Back here. Yeah. That's the, gotta be a red. Gotta send him off, Raf. That's gotta be a red card. Only a yellow. That's criminal. Criminal. The ball's gone and he's coming from behind. A reckless tackle. Here's Madison. Now. He's had a good game. Hasn't scored yet this season, but he's got an assist here. Here's Jewsbury Hall. Tielemans. Soon Chu. Oh, on Vardy! Oh, that was a good first touch, but Nato came out quickly. Well, we Kiefer Moore, good from Soinchu. Madison, Vardy. We badly need a second goal. Horribly. Oh. Oh, around the goalkeeper, Madison, 2-0. James Madison, surely now, seals the deal on our first Premier League win of the season. It's a big goal from him. Vardy, it's roles reverse this time. It was Madison to Vardy for the first goal. This time it's, it's Vardy to Madison. Goes around the goalkeeper. And then it's a, it's a simple, well, it's an open goal at the end. And it's 2 0. And we've needed that because Bournemouth have actually played quite decent in the second half. But luckily, we've got that two goal advantage that we kind of needed. It's Kiefer Moore. Soon she's done well since coming on. It's Vardy. Plays it to look at back, yo. There's nobody. He's got to go alone here. And he is going alone. It's look at back, yo. That was an awful finish. He did all the hard work right. But then that was a god awful finish. Right. Oh, that's going to be a second yellow. <laughs> Oh, we're lucky. We are really lucky there. Luke Luke Thomas was on a yellow. I thought he should have gone here. He flicked it over him. Mm. Not so sure on that one. But now we're going to bring off James Madison. He's had a brilliant game. Golovin can come on for the final five minutes. But I, I thought we should have been down to ten men then. That's a deep ball. Then it's a goal. Keith for more. 
has made it 2-1 and we've done well from dealing with the set pieces this game right up until then all of a sudden Bournemouth have got slight hope it's a very deep ball key for more just flicks it on and Dubravka can't get to it brilliant header from Kiefer Moore just flicks it on why is Dubravka's hand not fully stretched that bloody hell Kiefer Moore's got 3 and 4 bloody hell that's not what we wanted that's obstruction Keith Moore's got a spring in his step. And give it away. Really, all of a sudden, we are at risk. We are at big risk. Oh, thank fuck, free kick for us. To the men's. Vardy. And we've won. We've got our first win of the season. Should have probably been. It's, it's not a convincing win. We did make it 2 0. They did get a goal back. But really, Bournemouth played pretty well against us. We gave them a lot of the ball. Ah, never mind then. We almost had 60% percent possession. Just see that Man United, Newcastle fresh in Brighton 4-0. Really an unconvincing start to the season. And that's where we're going to end the episode today. Tenth in the league, one win from four. And I will hope to see you in the next episode. If you do enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace.